So far, so good. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn user input, using strings, and understand more on how we can use strings as well as input. The first thing I want to say is that you don't have to call this variable in, scanner in, you can also call it even the name Benson, if you like, okay? Anything you want because we say that this is a variable, this is a class, and a class is like a type. So you create a variable, we say objects, they are variables of type class, okay? Uh, from that, we can just create the uh, variables. You can declare maybe variable called variable called first name, second name, something like that. So you can just say string first name. I'm sorry. So second name and full name. It's always good to name your variables something that makes sense because sometimes you see person just saying string A, B, C. So what does that mean? So you have to give your variables. A relevant name according to what they are doing okay so for that we're going to say we are going to allow the user input system not how to print line so enter so I'm sorry enter your first um, your first name and this time you don't have to print train what print train means just means that it's going to print with the next line enabled but print doesn't move the cursor to the next time, okay? So we are going to say, just look here clearly, we're going to say first, first name is equals to Benson, our variable here, Benson here, our variable here, dot next, okay? Just that, you don't have to say dot next int, or we can say dot next line, you can say dot next or dot next line, okay? Because they are strings, and strings don't have the same user input as, they don't take the same method for user input with, with integers, okay? Okay, nice. Okay, we can ask the user to input the second, the second number, so, second name sorry so let me go say so second name is equals to Benson dot next line all right and inside here we're going to say uh, you're going to print system dot this time you can just print line so I can say so your full name is we can just come here and say we've created a variable called full name so I can just come here and say full name is equal to first name and I concatenate with a space because we want to see that space then we concatenate with circle sorry ah. second name something like that and now you can say your full name is full name okay yeah your full name is full name and if you uh, run the program you're going to say enter your first name and I'm going to say my first name is Benson and the second name is Carol you can see your full name is Benson Carroy and you can see that's how you allow the user input so let's run very quickly how you can allow the user input for the double and you can see so for example you have double double maybe first number so you can see so second number so I'm going to say system out I'm sorry I'm supposed to say here out so enter, the, enter the first number this is going to be print not print alright okay and then you're going to say first number is equals to Benson dot next dot next double okay you just say dot next double and it's going to print even for the fruits for the floating numbers just call them next double and it's going to work okay you don't have to worry so much about them so system dot out dot print you say I enter 
enter the second number and put this good C. Second number is equal to Benson dot next. Next. Okay. Then we'll see. So um, anything. So I'm going to say sum is equals to first number plus, plus second number. Okay, we we'll say system dot out. This time I'm just going to say system dot out dot print dot print dot print ah. The sum is concatenated with the sum, okay? And then you run the program. You will see, enter the first number as 20, so, I think, so enter the same number as 20, the second number is 20, and you can see your sum is 40, okay? Because, now you've learned about the user input using integers, user input using strings, so on and so forth. So in the next video tutorial, we are going to learn new thing. Goodbye, and nice for watching.